Hi everyone. Today I am going to share with y'all my little office slash studio. It is a place where I do all my creative work and I film most of my videos from this location. And also towards the end, I am going to open a box of goodies that PR sent me. Let's go. This is the room I want. This is my actual room. I wanted to put a chandelier up here. I've even chosen it. I just haven't done it yet. I have a funny window, small office, so I don't have much room. I'm thinking about putting something that goes all the way to the top and down and probably, it's not bamboo and drapes, but I don't know how I can fit all that in there. I do have a mock-up that I have put together, so we'll see how that happens. So this is my office. His dad just went to take his brother driving, so he's looking outside. Most of the time he's out here go looking outside to see the birds or the squirrels. I always have to keep the trash right up here because he will get into the trash every single time. Right here is my cabinet of curiosities. I love that. It has different things that I have collected and I enjoy. Initially, this office was designed for my husband to work as he works from home. The way we had the setup was the sofa was over there. As you can see in the picture, the desk was towards the window, but he never used the desk. And then I started working, doing some projects from home, and I took over. <laughs> My son too has used this room as a music room for an after dinner recital for us. Really fun. This little corner right here is a armoire from Belgium. It's an antique that I bought from the 15th, I think it's 1500s. Hmm, I can't remember anymore. It's been a while. I bought it at Sissy SpaceX Antique Shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And here I have, inside of it, I have some extra de decorations and some work stuff. We have drawers down there. I keep some of my busy work stuff. Over here I have pictures of my dogs who have passed away. It's been years, but I always want to have their images. Tuco and Angel Eyes. They were characters in a Clint Eastwood movie called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And that's my son when he was six months old, my little peanut. So cute. And I have feathers. And this is a crystal lamp. I love this lamp. It's super heavy, but it is black crystal. Love that too. This corner is where I keep the boxes that are coming in, the PR boxes or things that I have bought that I have to do videos for you guys. This painting was made by a neighbor in Tulsa and she designed my bedroom. A few of the pieces that are in here were in my bedroom. I have a big mirror over there, which I should have turned the light on in the back, but too late now. That's my messy printer, messy area. I have wires all over, not only for my computer, but all the lights for filming. This tray right here I use to display lots of the products. I love using it because it reflects light up onto my face during filming and it just makes the lighting so gorgeous. These are the candles in the salt from the trip to the Ritz Carlton in New Orleans. You might want to watch that video. This vase right here is where I keep these little dry, they're fake hydrangeas. I will change them with my subscription. I have a book flower subscription that comes once a month. So I try to always have fresh flowers right there. I use an apple. This is one of my designs. I had a clothing line at one time. I have an outside drive and an Alexa that I call by a different name so it doesn't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> These pencils are so beautiful. I bought them in Brazil in a art gallery. They are hand carved 
and Little Saints. Brazil is a very Catholic country. That's a great memory for me. I keep some pencils here that I never use. I just like the colors. This is actually soap. One gift from a dear friend. And I just like it because they look pretty. They're interesting. They inspire me. The box is lovely. I think it's a British company. These I got in New Orleans this last trip. This is one of my glossy box. I like the color, so I put it there. I'm starting using bullet journals to plan. I love these. Got them from Amazon. I'll put the link below. I'm not very organized, so I'm trying to get organized. See, I have a posting calendar, which... I have a lot of stuff to put in here. I just haven't done it yet. Haven't gotten around, but look at this. This is super cool. It's like um, a magnet. And I also bought these through Amazon and they're so beautiful. And they open up and hold the page that way. This little corner is a corner where I keep my extra lenses and extra camera just for super quick stuff. This is a necklace from my mom. It's very old. If I were to say, it's at least 70 years old. But I love it. it. Makes me think of her. Let's look at the cabinet of curiosities. I have a lot of uh, camera equipment down here. Carvings and pieces from other countries that we've been to or that family has brought to us. I love my collection of antique books. This is a hockey puck paperweight from Canada. This is just a paperweight. It's inexpensive and it's just glass, but it's by an artist. This inspired me to do a whole collection of paper goods that I might be able to post a few pictures of it up here. I love having knickknacks and they always bring me inspiration to my projects and my graphic design and my party planning projects. Um, I also have some fossils. I think I got those in Canada. And way up there, I have a drinking horn, just like a Viking drinking vessel. I make mead, and you're supposed to drink mead out of those, but ew, doesn't sound appetizing. And right here, I have some of the candles that I have already used and have been in my videos and I haven't, I use candles all the time. They're all, all, there are always several candles on in my house. So these are the ones that are just waiting to be used while I have a whole bunch back in my stash there that PR has sent for me to try out. So I'm really excited. And Muli has his dog bed that he likes to stay by my feet while I work most days. So I wanted to share with you a few beauty tools that I was sent from the company Makeup Eraser. So the idea with them is that you'll be able to remove your makeup just with water and their sponges. So I'm testing to see if with micellar water any extra will come out. This first set said ride or die. I get it because it looks like tie-dye. Super cute. And it's a set of a week's worth of seven day. They sell it at Sephora. Machine washable, reusable, lasts three to five years. Great for sensitive skin, saves money. Seven day set contains seven makeup erasers approximately four inches round, of course, and a laundry bag so you can wash it equal to 3,600 makeup wipes. 100% vegan, environmentally friendly, cruelty free, hypoallergenic, European Union approved, USA designed. You just open the bag and it's awesome for traveling so we're gonna go on a trip and I'm gonna take these because they won't spill or anything. And they feel very soft. Throw it in the wash and you're good to go. I love it. So that's one. I love that it's self-contained. It has this little travel bag. They do have all sorts of different designs in the website. I've seen like, <laughs> they make it kind of cute and funny. 
but this is more like me. Just having it nice and in a contained, self-contained little bag. This is the original makeup eraser. Erase all makeup with just water. Machine washable, reusable. I guess it's this exactly the same thing, but it comes in a different format. Exclusive patent, special blend of polyester. Works like a suction cup. Made up of millions of tiny hair-like fibers, 10 to 50 times thinner than a human hair. Adheres to the makeup and gently pulls it up and out of the skin. Free of alcohol, oils, and astringents, parabens, fragrances, and sulfates. Hashtag no more wipes. <laughs> it's a cute product. They have a little QR code there that you might be able to pull up the website from. So as I pull it out, it comes inside of a plastic bag. This bag is a 100% biodegradable bag. And flip right there with lots of Q and A's that you guys can look at. And it's just the same wipe, but larger. So I don't know if I would prefer a larger one. I'm gonna try them both tonight and then we'll see. The third thing that they sent me was the sponge by Makeup Eraser. First ever machine washable makeup sponge. I like that. Machine washable, non-toxic dye, no special cleansers, reusable, lasts up to six months, wet or dry application and saves money. Concealer under eye touch-ups and blending, baking, contouring and highlighting. They're showing you which areas and foundation, liquid cream and powder. So I'll show you. So it opens like this. Wash her and dry her. <laughs> so cute. The sponge is specially formulated by the original makeup eraser using the same unique wash tech technology to erase makeup out of your sponge by simply machine washing it. Not your average sponge. That's cute. When you're ready to wash it, just put it in there to whisk it and put it in the washer. The proper way of using this makeup sponge, the flat area is for the concealer, under eye touch-ups and blending. The round area is for powder baking, contouring, and highlighting. The very bottom flat area is for liquid, cream, or powder foundation. The experts recommend that you wash your brushes and sponges at least once every two weeks. Thank you so much, Makeup Eraser, for sending me those goodies to review and share with my friends. So the last product I wanted to share with you is the Solid Lavender Blender Cleanser with Silicone Scrub Mat by Beauty Blender. And what you get is the lavender soap and like a little silicone pad. The way I use it is I will make the silicone pad sit on the soap bar. I'll turn the water on and then I'll scrub it with a brush. I'll brush it and uh, it will be nice and wet. And all that stuff gets scrubbed off the brush with the aid of the silicone pieces. And then you rinse it off and let it dry and you're good to go. If you're new to my channel, I like to say I do gifts, gray gardening, glamour. I spend the money or receive it from PR and you don't have to and then I'll review it and then you can make your choice based on my review and hopefully I'm descriptive enough that you guys can get it. If you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.